Welcome to this first IOTA Heroes Let's Play on this channel. The whole thing is being created in the curse of Treasures of Shimmer, of course. And I just want to show you IOTA Heroes, introduce it to you, play around a bit so that you get a bet inside. Maybe you're even new and then you can join it right away. All you need for that is the website test.iotaheroes.com, Metamask and you're ready to go. The first thing you do when you come to IOTA Heroes is, of course, create a hero. Everybody which verifies on Discord gets 20 free heroes for mint. Otherwise there are two ways to get a hero here. Either as I said, through these 20 free pieces, or of course get 15 of these symbols and 500 gold. Then you can buy a normal hero. We will buy one because I still have 10 left. That's why we're going to mint. That's why we're going to mint it all for free now. For that we just go to mint. Metamask should open. We we'll look at the fees, cost us only 3 cent. The transaction is executed down here, sent, executed and here it is already processed. That worked. And then if we go to the tabs up here, you see adventure. And here we also see all my heroes. The second one, 2278 is the newest one. Looks a bit like a Cossack. We'll go to the one in a minute. And then we also see the whole thing. All the pictures you see here are also NFTs. Here you can see my inventory below, these are all NFTs. And when you play for the first time, of course your inventory will be empty and you won't have anything equipped. Like for example now with my hero. That only happened because I have a lot of my inventory and then he automatically uses the things. That means if we click here on the sword away, that theoretically it looks like this for you. But of course, now that I have inventory, why shouldn't I use it? Then we'll upgrade a bit here. That's all I have at that moment. On the right hand side we see his attributes, his strengths at 1, his speed at 1 and his intelligence at 1. That's 3 points, 15 you can give out on this. You have to train for that. Which direction you train in is of course decided by his preferences. And here we see the boy is very intelligent with 7. He is moderately strong with 4 points and also moderately fast with 4 points. Either we train him for intelligence or strength and speed so that we get him as an all-rounder. And of course, as I said, everything is an NFT. All his qualities are defined here as a character. But go back here to the screen here on the left. As I said, we already mentioned briefly, this is my complete inventory, which I can also equip. Here on the left, what he has equipped, of course, there are still some things missing, of course, his stats. We can also save the whole things here if you absolutely need an extra sets. And at the bottom, we see the difficult levels that we could select here for this test now, which we will run the days only on easy. And then here on the top right, then go to adventure. So that means we can send these heroes on an adventure. I just press. With the metamask pops up. Let's pay 3 cent in fees again. Transaction is transmitted. Let's wait a little while and say that's going on. The stress test sometimes, then it is breeze. It's breeze now. It's done. And now the hero is locked for 4 minutes. But since we still have a lot of other free heroes, as we can see on the green color, we just go for it. For example, this is my best hero at the moment. He's already used up his 15 out of 15 points. He's been a really all-rounder from the start. That's why I trained him this way. We also sent him to an adventure sometimes. Because we got loot and gold per adventure. And we don't only need that for the test, but also if we want to improve buildings or selling our goods back and forth on the market. And because it goes so fast and because it's so much fun, of course we have another hero. This one of course has a slightly different skill set. Here we see that she's more intelligent. That's how it turns out. Now we'll send them on an adventure too. 
As I said, because it's so quick and so easy and because it's so cheap and because I also need more money. So we'll send it off right away. The transaction has been transferred. Sometimes you can see that the transfer is being processed, but sometimes it goes so fast. This is exactly where you see executed. Of course, we also see here a hero who has not wasted all his 15 points. That's why we train this one, for example. But at the moment, it's done a bit straightly. There are still a few riders. If you click on the top here, these tabs appear. Maybe that's another bug. Here we see the four adventure contract tabs. Here you can rent this hero to someone else, for example. In turn you get Shimmer back. You can train him, we'll do that in a moment. And you can also sell him, but this time we want to train. So I'm just going to see what this lady here specialized in. Very strong and very fast, that's very good. And for training we have four special buildings. The library, which is more suitable for knowledge, the dojo, which is more suitable for speed, the gym, which of course is more for strength, and the academy, where you train everything equally. But now, then we want to focus more on strength. We go to the gym, press train, confirm the whole thing. You can also see the different levels. We'll get to that moment. The transaction has been sent away executed and then we also see that it has now become level 3. That if you want to train something again it takes time but if we go to adventure we also see 2 minutes here and so on and so forth. That's it with the adventure with that. Skill with the training. Let's go to the hero market for a moment. That's up here on the left. Of course you can sell and buy your own heroes. That's how you can earn money of course. Let's have a quick look at the prices. The prices are outstrangely expensive. I must say 20, 18,000 shimmer, the cheapest. What's that going to pay? I ask myself. And sometimes it's like four shimmers here, but they are real shimmers. We don't want at all. That's super expensive. That's why we don't do that whole thing. Let's go on to the upgrade. Here we see that we can upgrade our buildings for training. The higher the level, the faster the training. Then we just train the library, press upgrade, cost us 60 gold. At the, at the beginning of course, you have to give IOTA Heroes permissions to spend money at all. You don't see that um, with me now of course, but if you have given permission, you can then also spend money and then we see it ready to upgrade. In 24 minutes I could upgrade something here again. It cost me 60 gold, but level 1, one level higher. Let's go to the next point. That's the forge, of course. This is one of the more interesting aspects of the game. At some point you have enough loot, but what do you want to do with it? At the end, all of the heroes are already equipped. What do you do with all the junk? It doesn't load. Let's refresh the page now. I've used this pretty well. You need five different items so that you can forge something new. Of course, the level plays a role of the respective trash or loot. And of course, forging also costs 50 gold per charge. That means we can charge here, we can change here, let's say twice. We see I can forge something six times, now costs me 100 gold to forge something two more times. Press again and now even charge. One cent? Yes, my goodness, a bargain. We just send the transaction. And then we can see right here, we already have nine broken daggers and we'll try to make something out of them. Here we can also see I made five broken swords into a ring. Five real brothers for a good ring. Now, of course, Everything is gone. Transaction has been sent. Exactly. And now we've got from 6 to 8. Cost me 100 gold. Don't worry about it. 
We put the five broken daggers in here. Press forge. No metamasks should pop up. Of course, unless I haven't pressed it again. Oh yes, sometimes I'm much too quick. And here we are again with one cent of fees. We confirm the whole thing. The network is also getting real stressed at the moment. I'll get back to you on that. But it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> More than with Ethereum, for example. To give a little side blow here. The whole thing would have cost me one or two hundred dollars to send any tra transactions back and forth. Now let's reload for a moment. Or, or was that already? Two hours ago. That's not it yet. I'm going to upgrade. Back to reforge. Maybe it take a while. I've just never seen a timer here, so it can't I can't tell yet. Is it on timer or not? We'll save that. Let's go to the inventory. There we see the whole inventory with the broken things. Of course we have them here in the adventure. If we go to the hero, of course we don't see the broken things because we can't equip them. Here only see the things that you can equip. But in the inventory you see everything. For example, you can also see the hero tokens that I need to mint a new hero. And last but not least, we have trading. That is, if we want to buy something new because we don't want to wait that long or sell something because we want more gold, we can do the whole thing here. Again, a little bit of... yeah... How shall I say... Uh, too much of good things. We could, of course, let's say 700 gold. 700 gold. Uh, because here we see it. Here we have to release the permit first. At the moment we can only buy things up to 220 gold and now we could buy something up to 700 gold. That's why I now set the permission to 700 gold. We have a maximum of 1600 gold. Now MetaMask will have a jump up again. But as I said, the whole test network is getting very stressed right now and I'll just look at it again unless the transaction is already in. But I don't think it has. No, it hasn't yet. Again, set allowance. Now of course we could put our maximum gold in here, but I really only want to, to do 700. These are the smart contracts, please be careful here. Now on the test of course it could slap back and forth. Oh, There we see another little smart contract uh, mistake. That's probably because I've pressed it several times like a madman. I'll load the whole thing again. As I said, no problem so far. That's what this test series is for. We'll try it again. 2700 again and then again. Of course we are told right away you can't. You only set up to 10, 220. You can't do 700 at all. That's why we had to do set allowance again, which was much quicker than this time. 700 more, we approved the whole thing. Yes. Now the whole third section is transmitted. It worked much faster this time with MetaMask and sometimes it is not even because of IOTA heroes, but maybe also because of the Tangle, sometimes maybe because of MetaMask, because it's not so fast. And now we go up to 700 with uh, 700 what to buy. For example, we can buy these three items for 500 gold. Let's do that. It only costs 500. Walter will be really happy now. Wait, almost Duel will be really happy. Now about 500 gold. We'll have 500 gold less for that, of course, but we'll get closer to our tokens in the inventory. Of course, because why are we doing all this? There are of course a few quests that you have to do so that you can win something. You have to verify yourself on Discord, you have to buy or sell something, reach the maximum level of a hero, sell a hero. That's why I don't understand why 20,000 Shimmer is used like that. Upgrading a building to level 5, of course, minting a normal regular hero, that's why I'm collecting all these tokens at the moment. Forging something in the forge and doing 30 adventures. As you can see, I've managed to do almost everything I expect for the regular hero. I'm still working on that. And with the last rider, we can see the best of the best here. 
around 90,000 gold, they are really red players. Of course you have to release that, it also takes a lot of time. But there are still a few little problems. For example, you've seen that the adventures take 5 minutes, but at the moment they are still there and they should have been finished 7 minutes ago. That is already known. We don't yet know what the problem is. Maybe it's the Tangle, maybe it's the Firefly. At some point they will turn green again. None of that is a problem here, exactly. And that is for the whole game. Because you can try it like this. What there is to win in Treasures of Shimmer is of course also important. Because in the blog post iotaheroes.com they have also already specified that if you complete all these quests you will get such a reward. It is an artifact that only you had only those who have complete these quests will receive, no one else. What abilities this artifact has, however, it's not yet specified. There are also the so-called golden tickets. When you go on an adventure, of course you can also buy them, we can see that too, because they are quite popular. There are this. For example, wait a minute, sometime someone downstairs has already offered it. That's right, for 100,000 gold. Someone here is offering a golden ticket. Now, some of you are asking yourself, what do I get for this golden ticket? For this golden ticket, when the game really starts, an example with real money, you can use it to mint a free hero. That's why it's very popular right now. And of course, all of you who are participating now there are still 20 unique heroes to be raffled off, which means you just have to play and then heroes will be raffled off among us players. I'll update this page briefly because this is the Shimmer Network, Treasures of Shimmer page. Because here you can see all the D-apps that are participating and we can see that IOTA Heroes is currently in 4th place. Nice. It has overtake deeper finance, tangle swap, iota b, even those are such big names actually. I think that speaks for the project. Can we go to the Shimmer network for a moment so you can see that the network is also being used. Since yesterday, 3rd of May, 87,000 transactions, 4th of May, just under 300,000 transactions and we also broke the 2 million general transactions. And you can see here that is slowed down a bit, but the transactions are coming in really fast. It's a lot of fun. I'll also show you a Discord, which I'll zoom in now. Since the start, so these two days, there have already been 210 players. There have been 20,000 adventures, 743 forges, and over 2,200 heroes have been created so far, which is fascinating, I must say. The distribution of rewards was also mentioned here, namely in the total gold of all players with more than 1000 gold is 100,000 and you only have 5000 gold of that, you get 5% of the shimmer rewards. I think that's a quite good incentive to play uh, proper IOTA heroes now, because it's an entertaining game. If I go in here now and want to earn some extra money, I just go to Go Adventure and Metamask, want to play. We confirm the whole thing, that the, tr the transaction is transmitted very quickly. Maybe if you play in the evening, there's less going on. And then you go straight to the next hero and go on an adventure again and wait until you've just minted something. And then you've got through all the heroes, then you forge something. Something good, something new maybe. Maybe a sign will come out of the, uh, some point. And then the three minutes are almost over. Then you can go off again with all the heroes here. We can actually almost give someone here a ring and a necklace and another rabbit as an artifact. I just noticed that he doesn't have any shoes. You could buy shoes of course and then we go in with the next one. Wait. We just had that, didn't we? Yes, we did. Then you go on adventure with this one, confirm, it's just fun. 
Imagine we play a whole thing here with Ethereum CryptoKitties for example that just came to mind. The whole thing would cost me at least several hundreds of dollars which is what I'm clicking on right now and now I've only seen two cents and sometimes even one cent in the test. The highest of the feelings was three cents fees for me. And that's all really bearable. And that is IOTA Heroes. No more, no less. Very fast, very easy. Just to demonstrate that you can play it, that is fast. There's still a PvP tournament when everything is over here. There will be another PvP that is player against player tournament and then you have to choose the best hero you have, the best equipment you have captured and then there will be player against player battles. I'm looking forward to that too. And maybe we'll see each other again and see who wins it. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, have a good look, click through and see you next time. Bye bye.